Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is Sunday, January 30th, 2022. That's a lot of twos. I know. I'm the drunk poker of Chesapeake. Your time January is almost over. Can you believe it? Can you dig it? From my friend Polly G, I'm going to rename this whole thing. Polly G presents Pints with Poke. Got so many tasty beers coming this week. From Wellington Brewery comes New Growth West Coast Pale Ale. I had forgotten he got me one of these, and then I ordered one. <laughs> Forgot I'd ordered one. But then I'm like, well, now I got two, so I win. West Coast Pale Ale, Cascade and Chinook from Hey Ho Hops here in Hamilton, in Ontario, not in Hamilton. Too many H's, Hey Ho Hops <laughs> here in Ontario. A little bit of mosaic and citra on the dry hop, 5.9%. Throwback to the old school West Coast Pale Ales like Sierra Nevada, I imagine. Well, I like a little Sierra Nevada. How many of you had Sierra Nevada Pale Ale? It is like a classic beer. I've been revisiting some of the classic beers. I got some Pilsner and Kell in the fridge, too. Um, I like to go back and look at them. Nice having the Iron Duke, too, eh, from uh, Wellington last week. Ooh, baby. That turned out well. That was nice beer to have back in the thing. I look forward to this, though, because I think when I see West Coast, West Coast is the best coast. It's what brought us into beer, right? It depends on when you came into beer. Because when I came into beer, there were no hazy IPAs. There were no, like, that kind of... Everything was, you know, bitter. So, that's a nice little peach and orange off the sniffer. Let's get into it. Uh, cheers, Pauly G. As always, my friend, first beer of the day. Share with you. Cheers. Roll back. Oof, that's like Maestro Fresh Wes. Can't get a throw back. Let your backbone slide. That's good. That's very nice. So yeah, this is, it, it, it's all about that kind of dank pine characteristic, that resiny pine on the back, the bitterness, the pith. There is some orange, I would say, and a little bit of peach that, that's there as, you know, that kind of citrusy fruitiness. But this is not about that pillowy soft stuff that you get in a, like a New England style, right? Like if you're drinking the New England style, you're getting this very nice soft landing of pithiness and citrus and tropical. This is more, hey, here's some peach and orange, also pine in the face but in a good way. Like, this isn't overly hoppy, right? It's very well balanced. It's nice. It does lean into that toasty malt backbone a little bit. I hear you. I'm coming. Boys want the treats. They heard a beer open. They're like, hey, where's our treats, buddy? So that's how it works around here now. This is very good. This is a very, very nice pale ale. And it's, it's a pale ale in the vein of, let's say, like Pinball Wizard, right? From Clifford. That's the kind of pale ale this is leaning in to be. Right, Sierra Nevada, that kind of, you know, West Coast, bitter, pithy, citrusy. I like it. I, like it. I had to work today on my day off. That was fun. Nope. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. Back to work next week. Good for you. If you've been off this weekend, awesome. If you haven't been off, I feel your pain. And if you're like one of those people that man, just works like six, eight days in a row, it doesn't even matter anymore. The days don't matter. You just get up and you go. You get up and you go. And you come home and you have a good beer. Thanks once again to my pal, Paulie G., for your friendship and your encouragement and your listening to my complaining about stuff. <laughs> but we always have beer. Cheers, my friends. It's delicious. You should get some. I would encourage that. Lots of good beer, Wellington. 